What's going on, y'all? I'm Coach Gary Bradshaw, man. I'm here with my boy Eric Washington, pro guard. He just finished up in Hungary. Hey, Eric, man, talk about your season, man. You know, the COVID just happened, things of that nature. I saw you had a great season. Just talk about uh, your style of play and uh, how the season went this year. Uh, no, I appreciate you for having me. Um, the year was a challenge just because, you know, COVID, COVID affected everybody this year. Um, you know, no fans. Yep. Um, it, mask everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So it was tough because it, for players, you have to create your own motivation. You know, okay. usually players get a little motivation from the fans, that energy. And so it was a bit different this year. Um, but for the most part, you know, I had a goal, goal in okay. mind, just be successful. I wanted to average 20. I finished with 20 and 5. Right. So for the most part, you know, it was a good year for me, I would say. Um, we didn't win the championship at the end, but, you know, I learned a lot. Um, definitely taking a lot with me for, you know, the rest of my career. Okay. Well, I know you mentioned no fans. How was that atmosphere playing with no fans and creating your own energy, man? Because that kind of reminds me of, like, those 8 a.m. AAU games. You know, yeah. nobody's in there. Talk about how you had to create your own energy for your team. I, I, I know you said you averaged 20 and 5. Mm -hmm. That's big. You're saying with no fans, no motivation. So just hit on that a little bit. Um, it was tough because it forced you to have to do something different. You know, usually you, you don't realize how important, like, that energy, the fans, things like that. Even on away games, like, you pick up and you feed off that energy. And for me, I can't speak on everybody, right. but for me, it was just focusing on, like, you know, what are you trying to do? What's your motivation? And I had to just remember, like, I'm away from my family. Right. I want to put myself in a better position. I want to help my family and put my family in a better position. And that's what really I took to every game. And that just, you know, that that's what worked for me. Um and it helped me pour into my teammates, have fun, just appreciate the opportunity. Um, and, yeah, that, that was that was my focus. Okay, so I know you mentioned your family. Uh, I've been seeing your younger brother mm -hmm. do great things, man. Uh, I know he's at Weber State. Uh, just talk about how, uh, you know, you've been developing him since y'all were younger. Now y'all competing, you know. You know, you want to see him take great strides and great leaps like that. He was freshman of the year. Um, right. Just talk about how uh, you, you know, y'all, that brother, similarly, you know, how that's been going down. Uh, it's, it's cool um, just to see where he's taking his career. Um, I've, obviously, I've seen him you know, grow from a, from a youngin' to now yeah. going into his young adulthood. Um, I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, there's more work to be done, but um, it's exciting to see his potential, see how he okay. grows every day, the challenges that he goes through and how he responds to things like that. It's, it's really a blessing to see, and I'm, I'm, I thank God just for allowing me to even have the opportunity to be a big brother to him. Right. Um, so, yeah, like, he, he's on course. He just got to keep working hard, stay positive, keep having faith. You know, everything is right there in front of them. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, you've won multiple state championships here in South Carolina. Um, you know, there's a few names ringing out of your high school right now. You know, you got Jake Gorman. Right. Um, Malaysia Full Wiley. Uh, talk about, you know, being on one of those first championship teams, you know, in the early 2010s. Uh, just talk about how it's, you know, now you've seen those kids getting the recognition and you're seeing, you True. know, the Keenan Athletics all around. Just uh, hit on that a little bit, Keenan Athletics. Yeah, it's good to just see your, you know, your alma mater and just do like, you know, take it to another level. And I mean, I'm proud, you know, I don't, I don't speak on it too much, but yeah, we were that first right. wave to kind of get it started and win the championship and bring that tradition back. Um, so it's just exciting to see the young group take advantage of that and then take it to another level. Like you said, Gortman, yep. hell of a player. Um, he's taking it, you know, further than a lot of us at his at his age. So hopefully he can continue to do that um, and keep playing at a high level because, you know, he's very good yep. and he can really – he can be something that we weren't at his age. Right, right, so right, right, right. Um, that's exciting. Also, Malaysia, the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? They, they win championships. Shout out to Malaysia. Shout out to um, Coach McClain, yep. Coach Johnson, all yep. those guys over there because they're, they're doing – just as much as what Norris is doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud mm -hmm. of everybody from a girl, from a men's standpoint. It's putting the city on, putting the, the school on, putting the city on from a national standpoint. So I can, okay. I can, I'm proud. So, uh, you know, we got a hint, man. Last year you had a crazy layup on overtime. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about that process. What was going through your mind, man? I've never seen a layup like that. Only maybe on the blacktop, but never in game. All talk right, about right. that feeling when the ball left your hand. You know, it, it was crazy. But just talk about that moment of actually getting some national recognition. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I mean, that's that's a layup that I do practice. You know okay. what I mean? Just like a kid, you've been you know, you practice little crazy layups mm -hmm. growing up and I've just gotten to the point now where, you know, I'm, it's a comfortable move for me. I did, I did it again this year. 
Um, so for you to capture that was crazy. Um, definitely a good moment. I'm glad yep. you was able yep. to capture for that, sure. and, and we was able to take advantage of that. But you know, just just bouncing off off the contact, still having good control and having a good Dope. feel. That was, that was like I was like, bro, just, was yeah. I'm like, hold on, the whole crowd got yeah, shook, yeah, but yeah, nah, yeah. it was smooth. Yeah. It was smooth. So uh, talk about right here, man. We just leave the floor open to you mm -hmm. right here. You know people following you people following us right. um, just talk about any athlete you know that's following your footsteps wanting to become a pro just talk about the hard work and dedication that goes into it because you know some of these kids you know they're looking at instagram twitter they seeing these kids you know one or two highlights and then they go viral right. really talk about the preparation that has to go into becoming a pro athlete uh, i would just say the, the main thing for me is just sacrifice you know what i mean if this is what you really want to do you got to be willing to sacrifice certain things to get to this point because you can't do everything and still say you want to be a professional. Right. I, I, I'm where I'm at because I've sacrificed a lot. It's been tough, but at the end of the day, I'm doing what I love to do for sure. and I wouldn't have traded for anything. Um, and so that's why I would just tell the young guys, like, if this is what you really want to do, dedicate it. Dedicate. Don't think about, mm -hmm. you know, plan B, plan C. Of course, have a plan B, plan C. But if right now this is your opportunity to do this, this is what you go in with, you know, 100%. You can't look back. And once you win it, you win it. And that's what I would just say, really. Man, you can't hear it enough. I'm telling you, my, my guy, Eric Washington, back when I was fresh out of college, man, I was fresh out of high school, I happened to see Eric in the gym. And uh, I just asked him, you know, I was signing to a smaller Division II school. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, like, hey, man, there's a lot of guys I think I'm better than um, who are going on to play D1. Eric told me some great words of encouragement. He said, look, man, one year from now, you're going to really see who's working. There's going to be a lot of guys transferring down, a lot of guys transferring up. So, you know, you mentioned you, you, where you were at Presbyterian College, right. saw you play against Duke. You know, you, mm -hmm. were, you were in the Big South Conference. Um, but then you actually transfer to Miami, Ohio. Right. Hit on that for, you know, these kids now in the transfer portal who are looking to transfer up or look for, you know, just find a good fit. Just talk about how it was for you finding that right, perfect home for you. Right. I mean, uh, my, I can't speak on everybody's situation, but my situation with PC was, uh, you know, I felt like I wasn't being utilized. I didn't, I didn't, I wanted more. You know what I mean? Like, it was a it was a good opportunity. It was D1. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Shout out to everybody at PC. Um, but I, I wanted more for myself. I wanted a bigger, bigger platform. And okay. I felt like I showed that at PC. Because I think some people want that bigger platform but didn't really prove it at that at that level. I, I felt that I proved it at that level. And obviously, I took a chance. Um, and Miami bid on me. Yep. And so yep. it was a bigger platform, bigger conference. And I could just continue to have the work. And take it to another level, and you know that's what's helped me become a pro. Yes, you know what I mean taking yes. advantage of that opportunity. You know what I mean. So okay, well look, man, we we can't hold him up too much longer. He got to work out right now, man. The kid grinding about four or five times a day. Y'all say I want to be a pro. You gotta get ten thousand jumpers up. I'm telling y'all, but no, man, it's my guy Eric Washington. Pro guard, please go follow him. Also, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe with Shaw Hoops. Also, we got the merch launch going down. But man, right now we got Eric Washington. Man, Eric, one more time, man. State your your Instagram and your last words of encouragement. Uh, you can follow me on gfb.ewash33. Um, just continue to grind, have fun. Uh, don't take a day for granted, um, and just have faith, man. Um, and, and everything will work out how, how it's supposed to. Hey, we can't thank y'all enough. Make sure y'all please comment, like, subscribe. This is my boy, Eric Washington. Can't thank you enough for joining. Wish y'all hoops, bro. Appreciate you. Yes, bro. sir. Yes, sir. Y'all stay going. tuned.